Hi, and welcome to the video edition of Straight Shot Radio. My name is Johnny Slick, and I'm the founder and head coach at Straight Shot Training. So you may have done the deck of cards workout before with a fitness class where your instructor had you all do however many reps were on each card and each suit represented a different exercise. There's lots of different variations of it. There's also other games like trick or treat workouts or the classic 12 days of Christmas workout that a lot of coaches do over the holidays. Well, my guest today has really leveled up the game. He's actually created his own fitness board game. His name is Eric Matora. He's the founder of Board Games which is an awesome name anyway for a, a board game. But he came on to talk about how he came up with the concept of this game, how it's grown over the years, uh, how the gameplay actually works, and then how you can get your hands on a copy of it to play with your family and your friends at home, even if you have no training experience at all. So here's our interview. Thanks so much for watching. All right, Eric, thank you for joining us today. We're gonna be talking about this board game that you've created called Board Games. Uh, before we get into you know, how the game works, how you came to create it, um, I wanted to introduce people a little bit to you. So can you, well, first of all, you're my first international uh, guest on the show because okay, you are up in, you know, up in Canada. And where, in where is it? Where exactly are you at again? I'm in Mississauga, Mississauga, Ontario. So if you guys don't know where Mississauga is, we're basically 20 minutes away from Toronto. So everyone knows okay. where Toronto is. So we're 20 yeah. minutes away from Toronto. <laughs> okay. So uh, with your background you right now you are you do a lot of you do marketing there do you do some training up there as well at the gym yeah. that you're at? yep so okay. um i work at a gym in Mississauga called habitual fitness so i'm the marketing events manager um and then i do training as well and then teaching classes too okay so did you start out as a, a personal trainer or did you start out in exactly. marketing and make okay i started off as a personal trainer and then when i finished my when i finished my schooling and then i added and then I, be, I just took over the role as marketing events manager, just on top of my training. At, yeah. And then, yeah, it just evolved from there. Okay. And now you do a mixture of one-on-one -on -one training and group training, you said, right? Yeah. Classes. Okay. Yeah. So I teach classes. So I teach like at least majority of my um, experience for the past seven years have been mostly it's goes to be tr classes, marketing, and then training. Okay. Gotcha. So yeah. that kind of rolls into the, uh, the board game that you created. So how yeah. long ago did you come up with the idea for this? Okay, so this started in September 2016, four years ago. Okay. So that's when I just took over the role as the marketing events manager. And then I was like, okay, for the first event we're gonna do, we're gonna do, and we think of a school boot camp, a themed boot camp. And I was like, okay, we're gonna do a board game boot camp. So it was okay. board game boot camp. So we had four different elements to the, to the boot camp. We had fitness monopoly, which was the original board games, fitness okay. Jenga, fitness roulette, and then a fitness blackjack. So I had my trainers, uh, each teach a different, um, aspect of the, um, the four, four themes. Yeah. So the, uh, the roulette, the blackjack, and then, yeah, the event went well, everyone loved it. And from there I had this whiteboard. So the fitness monopoly was on this whiteboard. So I had this whiteboard and I just started, for my classes, I just started using it every now and then to like change it okay. up for my classes, just to give them, uh, just to have make, make it more fun, have yeah. uh, just change it up on them so they don't expect the same like AMRAP or EMOM or the same circuit every time. So just, just uh, like a, I used to call these like, they're my pay-per-view boot camps. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you I know, mean, most, any coaches listening to this or people who, who have worked out in classes, typically they've done like the deck of cards workout. Or yeah. uh, we always did in my boot camps. We did a trick or treat workout where you know a, a bucket gets passed around with movements. Yeah. And that was always everybody's favorite class. Was the the times that we would do these games because it didn't feel like a fitness workout. or it didn't feel yeah. like a workout. It was something fun. So exactly. um, So the first one, the the fitness monopoly. Did it did it play kind of like a monopoly? Like you would like yeah, we would own have certain the, pieces. Yeah. So we would have the pieces, the money, the play money, and then oh yeah. Oh my god. With, with how competitive Monopoly gets, I feel like that that would get dangerous in a fitness setting with how competitive people are. Yeah, it got, it got pretty it gets competitive. <laughs> okay, so, got, that, it gets that, competitive. so that first so, one was the, was the Monopoly. So then where did it kind of go from there? So yeah, for the first one was the fitness Monopoly. And then I started, I started using it more, but then changing the rules a bit. Because okay. like before I would have money, so I got, got rid of the money. And it was just like, just workouts, just how the board games, like the printout version you have. Yeah. So... 
2000, 2016. And then 2017, I got it made into like a poster. So I got this, the, uh, I got the fitness monopoly made into a poster, got that printed at a local print shop. And it, that's the, it looks like the one you have right now. Yeah. Yeah. So for, yeah, for those of you listening on the podcast, you can't see this head over to YouTube and look at it. I have a printable version and then this is the 2016 version. No, that's the 2018 version, 2018 version. And I just printed yeah, yeah, it out yeah. off of here, but so um, that's, yeah, no, so it looks, it looks like a blast. I'm sure people have a lot of fun with it. Lots of fun. So that's the 2018 version. So back then, 2018, I changed the name from fitness monopoly to Fitopoly. So okay. now the name is Fitopoly <laughs> and then. I did an event with it. So we had 10 players, 10 participants and had a prize for the, for the winner. And the, the okay. prize was like a, uh, a chef would come to your house and cook you a three course meal. And then, yeah. So then I had, that is awesome. we, yeah, yeah. Cause they have lots of sh- uh, friends that are chefs. Okay. So we did the, we did the event. It went well, everyone loved the event. And then after the event, I'm just kicking it with the members that participated and we're just like having drinks and eating some food. And then they are like, Eric, where'd you buy this game? And I was like, Oh, I didn't buy this game. I made it like, and they're like, Oh, Eric, you gotta like actually turn this into like a product people can buy. Like, this is so much fun. And I was like, and then that's where I started implanting, planting my brain. I'm like, okay, let me like go with this a bit more, man. So then, so then that's 2018 and then 2000. And then I started doing more research, got in contact with a lawyer and the lawyer told me cut out the photopoly because the opoly might get you in trouble down the road. Oh, for copyright yeah, yeah. issues then? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So they told me to get rid of that. So I got rid of Fitopoly and then the next name was Pump It Out. Okay. So now I have Pump It Out. And then I found, I found a manufacturer in China. So I got it printed. So I got it printed 2000, last summer, summer 2019. I got the actual board game, Pump It Out. And okay. yeah, it was, it was, I'm like, oh, damn, this is becoming a reality now. Yeah. So I play tested it more. It was just lots of play testing during that summer to like okay. ground out the rules, how to play, how to play properly and how to play, just have the game run itself. Yeah. And then more play testing, play testing all that summer. And then um, one of the high school interns that was co- uh, interning with us, he was playing the game with us. And then he took a picture of the game. He took a picture and he was like, board games. And I was like, that's the name right there. That's the name, board games. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, because as soon as, actually, because you, uh, you messaged me on Instagram and the first thing I saw was board games and it immediately like that was the thing. I was like, I got to check out whatever this is because it sounds like a fitness board game. Like before I'd even yeah. seen your page, I knew what it was. Exactly. So no, that's a great name for it. <laughs> yeah. As soon as I heard that name and he took the Snapchat, I was like, that's the name right there. Boom. Yeah. So I got that name. Use this. And then during COVID, um, gym was closed down. So I had time to finish off this game, finish off okay. like the new version of it. Cause back, Back for the Fatopoly version yeah. of it, that 2018 version, yeah. all the exercises on it before, they were all like exercises that I used in the gym for the print, the one I had before. Oh, so those gotcha. were like kettlebell swings, tire flips, yeah. and things in the gym that we had, equipment we had. Yeah. So then for the next version, um, Pump It Out and Board Games, I made it all body weight. So you can play this anywhere. So I can take this game yeah. anywhere and then have it, anyone can play it and you don't need any equipment. You can, and all you need is basically like an exercise mat or like Absolutely, that, that yeah. much space. That's all yeah. the, that's and, so much space you need. An exercise and go, mat and full of space. going around looking at it, you know, you see, you know, squat, jump, squats, uh, push ups, reverse lunges. These are also movements that you can modify. So if somebody wants to do a modified push up or they can't squat as low or if they can't lunge as low, exactly. like it really doesn't matter what your fitness level is, you'd still be able to play it and keep up with everybody. Because that's the one thing that's tough about, about boot camps and playing games is that you do have to make sure that everyone's enjoying the experience and they're all still getting a good workout. Um, yeah. And that's and, like all yeah. the, all the years experience I've had teaching classes. That's where, that's how the game got developed even better. Cause like, okay. even like even on the, on the rules, I have like the substitution exercises. So if someone can't do any, so one of these exercises, I have substitution exercises in the oh, rules cool. so they can go and pick one of, one of those. Um, and yeah. So that's yeah, awesome. during COVID gym was shut down and then I finished off the game, got it printed last July. Okay. And then been playtesting from July, August, right until now, just playtesting okay. with everybody. And that's, that's, that's important too. The, the other tough thing that I know that a lot of mistakes, that especially newer trainers make, is they want to do something fun or different with their boot camp. 
and they put the idea down, but when they go to actually do it, it, it doesn't pan out the way they think it's going to. And the fact that you've, you know, play tested this and you're trying this out. I mean, obviously you've been doing this for, you said seven years, you've been a, a fitness instructor and trainer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so you, you understand what the, you know, experience is going to be. You're not just, you know, throwing stuff on the board. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, understand yeah. that there's, yeah, and looking at it, just, just me, I've been, I've been coaching for 12 years, just looking at the flow of the exercises. Um, even if you ended up with a totally random number of roles, I was just, just playing around with it. It doesn't yeah. matter. You would still get a decent workout, workout going across the entire thing. And there's a good mixture. It's not just all like burpees and jumping exercises. Like there's yeah, some, all, there's all, some up, there's some up and down in here too, which yeah, I like. Upper body, lower body, easy exercises, hard exercises. So yeah, yeah I just, I mixed everything up. No, no, I, I like that it. That was just yeah. from play testing. Lots of play testing. Okay. That's how it the, 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 other, the other brutal thing is that on the corners of the game, so as you're making your way around the board, yeah. on the corners, it's almost like Monopoly with like the, the go to jail or, or like yeah. penalty, penalty corners. You've got one where you get all the way over to this one corner and you have to go back to the plank, which is yeah. the first corner. You've yeah. got one where you have to run for three minutes in place, which means – your just opponents are going to be catching up while you're sitting there exactly. running. So um, a, a little bit about gameplay. So if, if somebody were to get this um, and they weren't going to do this in a boot camp, so let's say you're not an, a fitness instructor, maybe you want to play this with your family or you just yeah. want to get it and you want to play it with your friends. So how does the gameplay work for, let's say, like two people versus a group? Uh, for, for two people, you can do a duel. So one-on-one -on -one, face okay. each other. And then it's, the gameplay is pretty simple. It's, the first step is you choose. Um, first, the first step is you choose your gameplay. So you choose if you're going to do multiplayer, dual, solo, team. Okay. So with two players, you would just do one-on-one -on -one dual. The next step would be to choose either points or time. So whatever, which whatever one you want to choose. So points is basically you set a point total. So okay. you can set it for three points. So the first person to hit three points wins the game. Or time. Okay. Time is just like a AMRAP, basically. So time is like, yeah, say you want to do 10 minute, a 10 minute game, whoever yeah. has the most points in 10 minutes. And a point is one win. full revolution around the board? Exactly. Okay, cool. So like for points, I, would, I call them gains. So it's like, yes. It's, so as you go around the board, you get one gain, you get go around one again, you get two gains. Okay. And then, yeah. And so no, usually, okay. yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, so usually I just, I usually just do a time game. It's just quick you. and easy. Yeah, because because then it really doesn't it the it doesn't matter how many times you're getting around. Everyone's working for ten minutes if you do it yeah. that way. Yeah, yeah. Usually good, like, time, and then the first person, whoever has the most gains in that time period, they win. Hi, my name is Morgan. I am 29 years old. I'm a full-time stay-at-home mom and a military spouse, and I am a straight shot athlete. Roughly around February of 2019, I reached out to Johnny, who is a mutual friend, and asked him what his programming was about, and ever since then, I have been hooked. Being a personal trainer, I understand how programming works and how it should be done properly, but I always find myself at a plateau and uh, almost unmotivated by my own programming, and that is where Johnny and Straight Shot Training came into play. One of my sayings that I like to tell people is, coaches need coaching too, and that is why I do straight shot training. I went from not being able to do a single strict pull up to now being able to do two in roughly a little over half a year. Another thing that I like about straight shot training is being a full-time mommy, I don't have hours upon hours to spend in the gym. I need to get in the gym, get my workout done, and ultimately be a mom. My daughter comes first. Another thing that I like about straight shot training, a lot of people that follow different programs, they don't have mobility or like a proper warm up or a proper cool down involved. Johnny has that all laid out. Johnny is a very passionate guy and he loves what he does. You can completely and clearly see that in his work. If I ever have questions or concerns or an idea that I wanna bounce off of him, I reach out to him and he is super quick to respond and that's what I really, really like about it.
one of the things I noticed, because you, you have a few YouTube videos of this, um, yeah. which I can, which I can, uh, I'll, I'll put a link um, to your website that has those videos on it. But uh, you actually, it looks like you have two groups of people at a boot camp, and one person from each group would run up to the board that was on a table and oh, roll, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then go back to their group and do the exercise. So at that that's, point, that's team. That was the team That's version. Team. Yeah. So at that me and me as a coach looking at that, that is awesome because not only are you, you know, you're you're trying to manage a lot of people. You had like probably twenty plus people in that group. Yeah. Uh, split into two teams, but then also you had people running up to the table, and then they would go back and tell the rest of their team exactly. what the exercise was. So then you have people leading each other when it comes to fostering like a group atmosphere or a community, which is what you know we're always trying to do as yeah. coaches. It was awesome. I can definitely see how that would be a good team building exercise for people. Yeah, it's too. really great. That was, that was, that, that was um, a great opportunity to play test with about 20 people. Yeah. yeah the, the max people, the, for the board, the max amount of players that can play this game is 100. Okay. So 10 teams of 10. Okay. Wow, jeez. That's the <laughs> that max would be pretty amount. sweet to have that many people Based playing off, it. Yeah. yeah. But I haven't, played, I haven't tested that out yet. Play tested it out, but theoretically, it would be 100 people. 10, okay. player, 10 teams of 10. 10 teams of 10 people. See, yeah, you can see the boards like there. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Cool. So thinking that as coaches now with, with the lockdowns and with COVID and changing the entire, you know, game when it comes to the fitness industry, um, I wanted to get a little bit into how maybe somebody could use this if um, they're not working out in their gym or if they're trying to help their kids stay active because their kids are not in school right now, they're not playing sports. Um, you know, how do you, this is something that anybody, the exercises here, probably something that anybody could figure out or do you have pictures for demos or anything? Yeah. So I have um, the exercise guide. So you can see this, this is the exercise guide. So okay. it basically has all the exercises, oh, gotcha. and okay. basic, how, the rules, how to do it. I know. Yeah. For Got every it. single yeah. exercise on there. So for our, for our audio only people, he, uh, he it's a little booklet and it shows beginning and ending movements uh, or beginning and ending positions of every exercise. Same as you would see on a you know Pinterest workout or online workout. Yeah. So somebody could not be a trainer, get your game, play it with their family, have zero coaching experience and still their family be able to work out together or work, exactly. work out with their kids. Yeah, um, that's and then as for like the, uh, the level of it, what ages do you think? It, the reading and instruction level there? Levels would be, I have it on the board, I think it was 14 plus. 14 plus. 14 yeah, plus, 14. okay, yeah. Yeah, because I've been playing, with, it was crazy, I was play testing, I thought yeah. these kids were older, I thought they were like their 20s, but they, they were like 14, 17, and they picked oh. up the game like this, and it was no, like. I, I was looking at it, and, and knowing some of the, the kids of the people that I train, I know of, you know, nine and 10 year olds, who would enjoy doing it. Yeah. Um, you know, they, they just might need a little more help if you had an older kid or if you as the parent were playing with your kid, which would be even better. Yeah. Um, but, but it's definitely something that you, that you don't need to view as this is something that a coach buys and does with a group. That's one way of seeing it, but it's also- that, That's originally, buy game. yeah. Originally, yeah. That's, what I, that's where I saw it originally. Like, train, like a coach would buy it, teach their classes, teach their classes outside. They would have events at their gym and then- yeah. As I play tested, like families was loving it, and families started messaging me, "Oh, can you bring this game? I want to play with my kids." And then, yeah, and then, yeah, just the the, the demographic for the game is just it just keeps growing every That's every awesome. time. Yeah, because now it's families. I see like school teachers can buy this game and teach their gym classes. And, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, and honestly, I mean, the, so the, this game here, this is like an you know, eight by ten sheet of paper that, that I printed out here. Um, you know, it might be difficult to see. You have a board game like that. You could actually pull that up on Zoom if someone was teaching virtual classes. I've been, yeah, I've been, I've been using Zoom. You've been doing I've, it with I've, Zoom. So, okay, yeah, so you I've have, been doing it with Zoom. Yeah, I play tests awesome. on Zoom. Okay. So the Zoom, Zoom is fun because I'm just play testing with people like all over the world. Like I have people oh, yeah. in Trinidad, America. It was oh, crazy. Oh, that's awesome. Well, the only problem with Zoom is I'm the host, so I have to roll the pieces for them. Yeah. Okay. That's the only, that's the yeah. only thing, but. But other than other that, than that fine. the game is yeah, it's pretty much the same. So now, how are people going to be able to get this game? Is is it made for? Is it like in production yet, or you you said you have a Kickstarter for it? So we're gonna. I'm launching a Kickstarter the end of October, and okay. then so Kickstarter is where people go and they can just buy products pre-sale, buy yeah. products before they're out. So once I have it on Kickstarter, people can go to the Kickstarter, and then purchase it there. So if you want to 
get the information on how to get to the Kickstarter, you just if you go to my website, www.boardgains.com, you sign up for the email list. And then once our Kickstarter is live, we're going to be sending out emails to everybody. And then, yeah, people can purchase and there and then have the game. Now have this the game in probably like three to four months after that. That's awesome. So that's, that's the projected date then of when the game's going to be out. Three, three to four months is what you're thinking once the Kickstarter starts? Yeah, once the Kickstarter starts. Maybe three okay. to six months, but I, okay. roughly. But in the, in the meantime, though, they do get this printable version of the game with the Kickstarter. Is that something to get? Yeah, so if they, if they sign up for the email list, yeah. they'll, they'll get an email and it has, like, has all that. Awesome, the link okay. To, to download that so they can cool. play so, it. So there's a way to play a, a, di a different version of the game on a smaller level before you actually get the full board game with all the pieces and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like for that version of the game, it doesn't have like, um, it doesn't have the cards. You can see here. Like these, oh yeah, these, yeah a whole these bunch are cards. Of yeah, oh, these are lucky so like, cards. So those are like, it can be good cards or bad cards. So I, I was gonna say, like, Eric, are, are they really lucky cards? Or are they, uh, some of them unlucky cards? <laughs> some of them are unlucky. It could be like, you can use a card, it could be like, okay, skip a one minute plank challenge. So if you oh, land on the plank, you can man. skip it. Or it might be something like you pick up a card, it's like a circuit challenge. So you have to do all the circuit. Gotcha. Okay. So there's, so a, there's definitely a lot more. Cards. Yeah, the there's elements. definitely a, yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more to that to that game then. That's cool. And then I see those the timers on the side there. Is that to time out the um... This is the to time the game. So you okay. gotta like for ten minutes, you can do the ten minute game. Gotcha. Okay. And then these are the best parts. Because you can't have a board game without a sand timer. Oh, that's so plank. awesome. When that you is do the so plank, cool. Yeah. <laughs> as, it, like, it, like, as if planks weren't long enough, and now you have a sand timer to watch the yeah. plank. That makes them excruciating. That's so cool. So yeah. you said the website is boardgains.com. Yeah. Yep. And uh, Eric, thank you so much for joining me today. I, th I think if, if you're like half as good of a trainer as you are a marketer, uh, you're probably pretty exceptional because this, this is an amazing idea. Uh, yeah, thank and, you. Yep. Well, so it, I wish it wasn't, it was... This, and the, the beauty about this is all organic. Like I didn't, I wasn't at home just like, well, let me think of a way to get money. And then people came to no. me like, Eric, you got to make this game. Like, yeah. this is fun. like <laughs> it was all organic. The people wanted it. So I got to deliver. <laughs> no, that's awesome. That's, that's the, that's the best way you, you, you found a need that needed to be met and you, uh, you met it with this game. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, they can find you on Instagram the handle is at board games. Yeah. Board games stuff fit on Instagram. Boardgames.fit on Instagram and then just board games on Facebook if they want to follow you there? Uh, Boardgames.fit on uh, Facebook too. Oh, Facebook too. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Board games was already taken. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> probably not as cool as your game though. Sounds pretty yeah. awesome. Hey man, well, wish you the best of luck, especially with your gym. I know things are, are tough everywhere right now for, uh, for people yeah. working the gym, but um, dude, I think you got something awesome here and, and I'm, I really hope that you, uh, you have a lot of success with it. Thank you so much, man. Awesome. Have a good one. All right. Thanks, Johnny. Thank you so much for watching today. This is actually the first video version of the podcast that we've ever done. We'd like to do more of them if you'd like to subscribe to see more. If you would like to learn more about what we do at Straight Shot Training, just head over to straightshottraining.com. You can also find us on social media, Straight Shot Training on Facebook and Instagram. Have a great week, everybody.